Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike, behind the camera is Jay. To my right, we have the MW4 in forged wheel. To my left, you have the MW3 in 20 inch silver polished. What would that look like if you put the two together? Well, that's the MW10. So wheels, that's something we're really pushing very heavily going forward. If you're probably already watching the channel, um, you'd have seen we launched the MW5 earlier this year, which is very popular now, starting to see them come through, which is the Alpina sort of style wheel. Also, we did launch this, the MW4 wheel, which is a fully forged wheel. Now we get asked a number of questions. First question is, can you do them for a 340i? Well, the answer to that is yes, we can, but you won't get the same desired looks. We don't really push it too much. The front on those is an eight and a half, and then the rear is a 10. On a G series car, like an M3, it's a 10 and a half and 11 and a half, which gives you that dish. So you imagine the wheel wouldn't have the same effect, it'd be quite a flat faced wheel. But we did take note and obviously start to listen to people. So next to us is we've got the four, the MW10 or the X, and then the MW3. And it has design elements from both wheel to equal the new wheel. So on the forged wheel, it's very popular, but we actually went for a bit of detail onto it. But down the side of the spoke, an indentation either side, we have like a bit of a, a design element just to give the wheel a bit more depth and detail. Going across to the MW3, this is actually a five spoke wheel in our head, so you can see it's got five spokes with shoots coming off of it to give it that sort of multi-spoke lattice style look. So what would that look like between the two of them? Well, it's actually the MW10. So why didn't we just do an MW3 variation? Well, the MW3 is very popular, but it only really works in eight and a half 20 and 10 by 20. When you start to stretch it out, to go to bigger sizes, which the MW10 comes in a 21 and a 22, it's our first wheel we're branching to SUVs and bigger things, it became weak looking. And what I mean by that is when you start stretching the spokes from here out another two inches, it became too weak. You're putting this on like an X7 or a Defender, it's gonna look very weak in the center. So the plan was, what can we do if we add the two wheels together? Well, that's the MW10. So I'm gonna pull this one off the cover now. We're very proud of this one in its latest finish. 10 spoke wheel with the design element taken from the MW4. So it has the divot in the spoke and obviously, I guess like the dimple down the spoke as well to give it some design look. Now in a previous vlog, I'm sure you'd have seen Alex and Jay go around the office asking people's opinion on the latest center cap. So this is our new 3D cap, which has different variations of customization that you've seen and then continue going forward, you'll see them in various different options, colorways and that sort of stuff. Here on the frozen BMW Gold, this is the same colour as what we put on the, or what BMW fit to the M2 CS and M5 CS. We worked really hard to get this finish. It is absolutely stunning. We have it fitted to our 440i, the AC Snitzer car, and being that Brooklyn Great has a real nice sort of contrast to it, and it just works. That's a really weird thing to say, it just works, but trust us, take a look at the footage, it just works. So the MW10 comes in eight and a half front and 20 for the G-Series cars. 21 and like I say, a 22, so we can step it up. Also, with this wheel being a bit more complicated, if you like, if there's a lot more going on compared to the MW3, if you look at BMW's design language for the new 5 Series, new X2s, new X1s, and the newer X3, we fitted some 21 inch wheels to other half X3 and they look amazing. That car ran the 22 inch um, AC Snitzer wheels, which looked great, but the wheel was always, the car was always going to design to have these wheels on it, it's really finished it off. So color options on the MW10. As I said before, we have the BMW Frozen Gold, which is absolutely stunning. It is the most premium and the most expensive finish we've done to date. In short, it's six turns through the oven and that just costs more in labor compared to something like a gloss black. So BMW Frozen Gold in all fitments. The carbon gray, yet yeah, again, all fitments. And if you notice the center cap on this one is color coded to match the wheel. Gloss black, full color coded. But yeah, again, that can be adjusted. If you had a black wheel and you want to run the frozen gold center, get in contact and we can, of course, accommodate that one. And then probably my favorite one actually is the frozen silver, which is something a bit different to us. We have done silver polished before, but the frozen silver just gives the car a bit of a different edge. Now we actually fitted them to the M3, we were meant to take to gravity, sorry, the F83 M4, which is currently over there, which is probably going to see some more B-roll on. And that wheel was our first wheel for the F-series cars. 
That was one of the reasons why we bought the car, was to introduce a wheel range for that. And in a vlog coming soon, we're gonna go over the complete wheel range, the complete wheel range just specific for G20s, G21s, and the wheel range for F-Series cars, and the wheel range for M cars as well. So this wheel, yet again, being a flow-formed cast wheel, which is a lightweight wheel, we are gonna fit set to an M2 very soon, so we'll be able to offer this for the G80s, F80s, and that sort of stuff. So we've got plenty of content coming on these wheels. So, yet again, we've worked really hard. Center cap is a real selling point, a real unique point for us on the wheels. Finishes are all done, stock's in. Let's get ready to see some B-roll and take your orders. Any more information, just let us know down below, but please, let us know what you think of the new MW. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah.